Queen Hatshepsut was one of the most famous queens who ruled Egypt and the most powerful one. Her rule was a highlighted part not just in the history of the 18th dynasty but in the history of ancient Egypt as a whole. She is the daughter of King Tutmosis I and Queen Iyahmes and the legitimate inheritant of the throne for there were no male inheritance but she had a step brother from her father who is Tutmosis II. He was the son of a secondary wife called Mut Nefret and he had no choice but marrying Hatshepsut to sit on the throne. During the time of the reign of King Tutmosis II, Queen Hatshepsut held the titles of daughter of the king and sister of the king, wife of the god king and the great queen, which means that she was just a wife of the king like any other queen. King Tutmosis II had a daughter from Queen Hatshepsut who is Neferura and a son from another wife called Isa and his name was Tutmosis III. During his lifetime he wanted to grant his son the right to the throne. Thus he planned the story of the choice of God Amon, the god of Karnak, to him in one of the festival's days. Tutmosis III used to live in the temple being one of its priests. King Tutmosis II died and Tutmosis III was still a child whose age was not more than nine years. So Hatshepsut found the chance to take over the throne and thus became the true ruler of the country. The circumstances in the beginning may have forced her to take him as a corrigent in ruling. Ever since the beginning Hatshepsut took the control of everything in her hands and made Tutmosis III a front in front of the people. His name appeared occasionally in the official documents but in few years and after the ninth year his name disappeared and she ruled alone for 13 years in addition to the first nine years in which Tutmosis III was her co-regent. Queen Hatshepsut appeared in the scenes as a queen of Upper and Lower Egypt, dressed as a man, to prove that she was ruling just like any king.